What is going on guys? Today I am back with another politics video and today I am going to be talking about Donald Trump and his chances to win this upcoming 2024 election. I know many of y'all are not looking forward to it and many of y'all are looking forward to it. So first I will be putting in Trump's safe states including Texas, Louisiana, Missouri, but I will be changing Texas to likely because the border crisis in Texas, which should help Donald Trump, but this, I'm just going to do likely just in case. Um, Florida, which used to be a swing state that Biden could have won in 2020, but he just didn't focus on it. Um, now we will be doing Biden's safe states, which will be, you know, California, of course, Colorado, Washington, Oregon, New York, which actually has been getting closer to Trump, but it's Trump won't be able to flip it in time. Um, New Jersey, which will be likely because the polls I saw from many other sources have been getting closer to Trump. Um, Delaware will be safe Biden. Um, some polls actually put Trump ahead, but I, I just don't see that happening in Illinois for um, Trump. I will be using the heel.com, which is a Democratic site, but we will be um, still using the polling. Uh, in Nevada, Trump has a 51 chance of winning, which I think it's a little more, but um, we'll be going with off of this. Um, Trump is winning in m most of the polls so we will be putting nevada and uh tilt trump um i think um nevada will go for trump in 2024 um but i will be putting this in toss up um later on in the video just like this map um CNN actually um, predicts Trump to win. That's Hillary Clinton's website, and they're predicting Trump to win. So, um, I for some reason put Nevada at lean, but it's it's still. Um, and now we're doing Arizona, um, and Trump's up five, four, seven, six, five, ten. Um. I think he's going to win Arizona pretty easily. Um, so I put Arizona at lean Trump, which I think he will easily win in 2024. And now we are doing New Mexico, which Joe Biden will most likely win, even though many polls are suggesting it will be a toss-up state. But I just don't think it will happen. So I'll do likely Biden for New Mexico. Um, now we will be doing Georgia, which Trump has a 64 chance of winning compared to Biden's 38, which Biden won by like 0.3 points in 2020, which is so close. It, it's unbelievable. But um, we'll be putting Georgia as a lean Donald J. Trump because I can easily see Georgia going for Trump in 2024. And now we are going to do North Carolina, which I did not put safe Trump because it was a swing state and he, Trump only did win by one point in 2020. So I'll be doing a likely Trump in North Carolina. Um, now we'll be doing Minnesota, which many polls suggest it will be a toss up state. Even this poll, um, we see Trump ahead and many polls when we see Biden head in many polls. So we will be doing tilt Biden for Minnesota. Or leading Biden in Minnesota. Cause I, I don't see Trump winning Minnesota in time, but in the state of Wisconsin, I believe. I think that's when I clicked on um uh Trump is ahead by fifty 1% to Joe Biden's 49%. Um, I'll be doing tilt Donald J. Trump because I can see him winning, but I will be putting it in toss-up later on in the video, as you will see. 
now we clicked on Michigan, and Donald Trump has also 51% chance of winning. And I see Trump ahead in 90% of the polls. Um, I think he will win Michigan also, just like in 2016 in the Rust Belt. Um, I think that should be a state that he can easily get, but he doesn't need them if he wins Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, or in Pennsylvania. He won't need neither of them. Um, see, so now I am going to put Nevada, Wisconsin, and Michigan in toss-up because I'm going to be showing you Trump can win with Pennsylvania anyway. He has a, I think, 57% chance of winning. He is up in all the polls except that one in Pennsylvania, and I think he will win Pennsylvania just like how he did in 2016, and that's how he will win in 2024 also. I think uh, many people from Pennsylvania, uh, you know, they voted for that governor, and I don't, I wouldn't vote for him if I was 18. He just doesn't seem capable of being the best governor. But um, now, New Hampshire. Trump, I think, can win New Hampshire. But these polls on TheHill.com are showing Biden easily winning New Hampshire, which I, I can't see because even in 2020, it, it wasn't far from being a Trump state. But I will be putting a lean Biden in New Hampshire just from this polling. Um. Alaska and Hawaii, they're they're always going to be Republican and Democratic. Um, and now Maine state, uh, Biden has a sixty-four chance of winning. Um, I don't see that either, but um, it it can easily go for Biden, just like how it did in twenty twenty. So we'll be putting Maine as a lean or till um state for Joe Biden. Um, and we will we'll be putting Maine's first district at likely Democrat. Because as the polls show, it has 67% chance of going for Biden on the Hill. Now we will be doing Virginia, which Joe Biden has a like 70 something percent chance of winning, which I cannot see. Um, I know Fairfax County has a million some people in it, which is very, very Democratic because it's near D.C., um, but I don't think that will change it too much. I think it will be tilt Joe Biden because um, in so many other polls I see Trump's. I mean, it's plus one for Trump, but um, we'll put Virginia at tilt. Joe Biden, and as we see, Trump still wins the election without Nevada, Michigan, or Wisconsin. He just needs Arizona, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. Um, he could have uh just one of the Rust Belt states. That's all he needs. Um, right here's the CNN map. It shows Trump winning Michigan and winning Nevada, but not Arizona. When I think he has a higher chance. Of winning Arizona more than Nevada, but that still shows Trump winning 272 to 225. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and please comment below what you think about the 2024 presidential election in this video. Thank you, and peace out.